me and Kim. No, you said you didn't like the watermelon tea in there. Well, I didn't put this on it. Well, if you don't like it, then you're going to ruin it all. That's on this. Why don't you pour a little bit in a cup, another cup, and pour a little bit in it and see if it works that way. Good noon update. Uh, I got some blogging done and I wanted to go pick up Kean from school. He was playing with one of his schoolmates and then uh, we walked back to the car. He decided he didn't want to do deliveries this afternoon. So I pushed it off till 4.30 to 6. See if we do that. And then um, went back to the Airbnb and now he's experimenting with his sparkling ice drinks, making his own concoction. I have to pop chili. That's why I took a sip. Pop chili. Look how red it is. That's a nice shade of red. Take a sip. Mmm! Try it. It's so good. Mmm, that is good. So the evening, I pretty much, um, 6.30, dropped Kian off with his mom at KFC. Um, she bought him dinner, um, fried chicken and glazed donuts, fruit punch. Um, she's got mac and cheese and coleslaw and give me some as well. So we caught up and then I headed off to the um, AMC to use my self center to use my A list and uh, went to see the Invisible Man. Definitely Bloomhouse Ghost House story retelling of the classic in a more modern daylight. Narcissistic, narcissistic controlling husband uh, the, his wife tries to leave and um, He commits suicide when she does, but then either his spirit or his ghost or his being invisible man, monster. Gets her um, framed up for murder and mayhem. Pretty um, um, high action gore. I mean, blood, not really gore, um, and sci-fi. Um, it was good. I'd give it a 3.75 out of 84. Um, enjoyed it. Definitely not kid-friendly, though. So glad I didn't have the little one with me. I always drove home after that, headed back to the Airbnb, and now I'm gonna do some logging and um, web dev, and call it a night. Good night, Renton.